So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today we check out the patch notes for the latest Elden Ring update, the 1.05. Let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this latest update, this latest patch should be on your platform already. Uh, definitely by the time you watch this video anyway. Now what I will say is, considering how long we've waited since the last update, there's kind of a few things missing out on this which I'm pretty sure you will realise when we get to the end of the video. But hey, either way, let's go. Major changes included in the latest update additional elements in transactions with npc the twin maiden husks the following barbarian items have been changed so that their liberated status will be carried over to the new game plus play okay so the bone peddler's bow bearing the meat peddler's bow bearing the medicine peddler's bow bearing the gravity stone peddler's bow bearing the smithing stone miner's bow bearing the samba stone miner's bow bearing the glove warp picker's bow bearing and the ghost glove warp picker's bow bearing added emphasis uh, to the choice of the sacred flask and several other options that can be strengthened in the grace menu and added sand effects when other players summon sign appears okay so that's all right that's that's pretty cool okay so what about bug fixes what we got okay so fix their bug where equipment could be changed from the equipment menu during the use of a skill under certain circumstances yes this is a glitch this is an exploit i covered myself which many people took advantage of but hey it has been nerfed out the game or patched out the game fixed a bug in a war cry skill where the effect was applied to a weapon that was not the target of the skill again done <laughs> Fix their bug where some actions of the barbaric roar, a war cry, and the troll's roar recovery time was longer than expected. Fix their bug where the effects of the determination and the royal knight's resolve skill does not always wear off with certain weapons. Okay, so fix their bug in which some attacks of the ice spear skill are unguardable. Fix their bug that caused the attack power of some skills to be reduced when using the golden valve skill. Fix their bug that the light wave of the moonlight greatsword skill sometimes does not aim at the locked on target. Fix their bug that caused damage to allies when using the seppuku skill under certain circumstances. Fix their bug that caused uh, the increase in attack power of the seppuku skill to be higher than expected for some attack motions. Fix their bug in which a status effect was applied when using the Hora Luxus Earthshaker skill. Fix their bug where the wave of darkness skill would not hit the enemy with a spinning cleave. Fix their bug that caused unintended motion through the player when switching to different sorceries and incantations while using a sorcerer incantation. Fix day bug that the FP consumption increased when using sorcerer's magma shot and roiling magma when riding a horse. Fix day bug where their claw or talisman effect was not applied when jumping with this star scout greatsword in both hands. I did not know that. Fix day bug that the, the power of the two handed attacks except jump attack of the weapon golem's halberd is different than expected. Fixed day bug that when using the weapon that pull it crossbow with the left hand while the right hand weapon was given uh, an attribute by magical item, the effect was given to the pull it crossbow as well. Again, another exploit that many people used, which just made things crazy. Fixed day bug in which arrows and bolts did not match the type of a long range weapon uh, could be released in certain procedures. Fixed a bug in which the guard boost was uh, reduced when some weapons were strengthened to a maximum. Fixed a bug in which the attributes of weapons could be changed while the inventory had reached its maximum capacity and the ashes of war could not be changed. Fixed a bug that causes the boss millennia goddess of rot uh, to have low HP under certain circumstances. Fixed a bug that allowed enemies to be attacked from outside the fog in certain areas. Fixed a bug in online multiplayer when a boss is defeated in the host world as a cooperative player, the same boss may appear in your world. 
fixed a bug that prevented the battle with the boss, the god devouring serpent, from progressing under certain circumstances. Fixed a bug that prevented hostile NPCs from appearing under certain circumstances. I fixed a bug that prevented the event of the NPC Alexander Warrior Jar from progressing under certain circumstances. I actually have this bug. I fixed a bug where the item, the sacred flask, is not restored after destroying a group of enemies under certain circumstances. Fixed a bug that under certain circumstances after defeating the boss of Star Scourge Radon the user could not move from the map to the grace. If you cannot move from the map to the grace you can move to the grace by touching the grace the Star Scourge Radon. Fixed a bug that prevented fan sites of grace from registering on the map under certain circumstances. Fixed a bug that prevented some graces from being able to be touched when approached under certain circumstances. Uh, fixed a bug that allowed hostile guests to enter boss areas under certain circumstances. Uh, fixed a bug that prevented a critical hit from behind from hitting in hostile multiplayer. Fixed a bug that caused performance to slow down when the sentry's torch weapon was equipped under certain circumstances. Improved stability of online multiplayer between PS4 and PS5. Improved loading times uh, for the Xbox Series X and S version. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Fixed a bug that the master volume saying was not reflected in some cutscenes. Improved stability of online multiplayer. Fixed a bug that caused sounds to play differently than expected in some situations. Fixed a bug that caused a player to become inoperable and die in certain locations. Fixed a bug in which the drawing and hit detection were different than expected in some maps. Fixed a bug in some maps that allowed players to reach unexpected locations with certain procedures. Fixed some text, several other performance improvements and bug fixes. Okay, so there's a lot of bug fixes there. I'm pretty happy that they actually fix these uh, certain places people can go to and uh, use to basically AFK farm in PvP, go to a certain place, no one can reach you there. I mean, there's no doubt going to be more that's going to be found. It's just one of those cat and mouse things. But hey, now there are additions and modifications for PC only, which you're seeing on screen now. But yeah, guys, it's I'm actually quite surprised at how small this is, like I said, considering how long we've been waiting. Uh, no buff to any weapons, no nerf to certain weapons, certain statuses, uh, bleed. I mean, it's just a wild one in my opinion. Now, I'm not going to say they're never going to fix certain things, but hey, it's, like I said, I mean, they've obviously concentrated on a lot of the bug fixes that the game is suffering from. Um, we may get another patch sometime in the near future where we get a rebalance on certain weapons, but who knows, guys? Who knows what From Software are thinking? But again, bit of a short one, bit of a weird one, but let me know your thoughts down below in that comments section. But there we have it, guys. The 1.05 patch for Arden Ring should be live on your platform right now. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.